In our first two videos, we got we looked around inside the Jupyter Notebook interface, and we started playing around with cells. But let's actually try to start building an app inside our Jupyter Notebook. And so let's just make an API call and get some weather data, and then we can start playing around with that data. And so I have some code here. We'll just paste right in, and we'll just walk through it. So what we've got here is we're going to use the request library to make a request to this API. Um, here's my API key. We're going to get the last 10 days or the next 10 days of weather in London. So we're going to get a weather forecast, right? And so you can see this URL is, um, we can actually print the URL as part of the process, right? So we'll just put print URL in here as well so you can see it. And then it's going to make a request, uh, a get request using that URL. The response is there and we're going to print out the text and it's just going to be like a crazy schmear of data um, so let's just run that and we can see here's the url right uh, forecast.json with our api key uh, the q is equal to london day is equals 10. all right this is great but i i i'm cringing and probably you guys are cringing as well like we've got our api key right here what if we accidentally put this up to GitHub? Other people would have our free weather API API key. Now, granted, our free weather API API key, eh, not such a big deal. But when it's your AWS credentials or, you know, your GitHub credentials, like bad things can happen. So we don't want to do that. We don't want to put API keys in our code, right? It's just a bad practice. So let's get rid of that. And we're going to start over. All right, so what I have done here is let's go back over here to over here. Um, I've created a credentials.json and that credentials.json has that API key in it. So now we're gonna have two cells. Our first cell is gonna read in our credentials. So we're using the JSON library. Uh, we're gonna open up credentials.json as a file and then we're gonna read it into the JSON, into the dictionary of credentials. And then we're gonna print it out just to show that it actually works, right? All right, so now we've opened the file, we have this API key, and you know if we take this out, now our credentials are no longer in, um, in our code. Uh, and if we have a git ignore to make sure that that credentials.json doesn't appear in GitHub, we should be fine. I mean, at least it's better. We still have our credentials stored as, as a text file on the server, which is, you know, it's not great, but we're making progress. All right, so now we can import the code. And so same co code, just a couple small differences. Um, you can see here uh, credentials is the variable that has that JSON. So now I'm going to go into credentials and grab the weather API key. This is the key. And so this is going to put the value of this into the variable API key. And then you can see I'm calling API key rather than hard coding it. So this is better. Um, and when I do this, we get a whole bunch of data uh, with the weather forecast for London, England. So in this video, what we've shown is how to s store our credentials in a better way with notebooks and building on top of subsequent note, uh, cells. So this first cell uh, grabs our credentials. And then in the second cell, we make an API call and get the results uh, using those credentials that we've saved uh, as a variable we make an api call and we make a request and get a response back with weather data